Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hit that thumbs up button on your way in. Today, we have some much needed good news for Star Wars games. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga got a new gameplay reveal and finally has a release date. Jedi Fallen Order 2 is on the horizon and Battlefront 2 is finally getting fixed. We have a lot to discuss today. Let's check it out. So jumping right into it, can anyone tell me why Lego, of all things, is about to release the best Star Wars game ever made? This is where the fun begins. Yesterday, IGN and Lego dropped a six minute gameplay overview for the upcoming title, Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And this game is proving to be the largest, most ambitious Star Wars video game so far. Everything about it has been reworked from previous LEGO titles, from exploration to combat to just the sheer amount of content that's in the game. With over 300 unlockable characters, all nine movies in the Skywalker Saga are playable episodes, with side missions and quests, and an insane level of exploration of the entire Star Wars galaxy. It will still hold true to the puzzle aspects that LEGO games are known for, but the combat specifically has seen a crazy overhaul. It has melee combat that lets you string awesome combos together, there will be actual lightsaber duels, and improved blaster shooter mechanics, which makes this game more of a legit combat game instead of just a fun LEGO adventure. The best part about this reveal is the fact that we actually have an official release date for the Skywalker Saga. April 4th will be the big day, and after all the delays we've seen this game go through, it's about time. LEGO Star Wars will be a significant part of this channel moving forward, so if you guys want to stay in the loop with news updates, tips and tricks, and playthroughs, make sure you're subscribed and getting notified, because we're going to have so much content I'm probably going to lose sleep over it. The LEGO news is super exciting, but next up we're going to talk about what is probably the most highly anticipated Star Wars sequel when it comes to video games. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order was a huge success, both commercially and in the eyes of Star Wars fans. An authentic Star Wars game with great characters, a compelling plot, Fallen Order was a milestone, and it actually changed the way that EA, the publisher, looked at single-player games. Before Jedi, they weren't really interested in doing them, believing online multiplayer was what most consumers were looking for, but after the huge success of Fallen Order, they changed their tune, and the game is now about to become a full-blown franchise with the release of the sequel. The reveal of that LEGO Star Wars overview might have also kicked EA into gear with their marketing, since we are now hearing that Jedi 2 may be getting revealed on May 4th better known as Star Wars Day, which would be extremely fitting and is exactly one month after LEGO Star Wars would be released. Perfect timing to keep momentum and relevance going. This information comes to us from Tom Henderson. He's been on fire recently when it comes to games news and he's proven to be an extremely reliable insider. He's mainly been covering Battlefield 2042, but the Star Wars news does sneak in there from time to time. Jedi 2, whatever it will be called, is slated for a release in quarter 4, 2022 which is anywhere from October 1st to December 31st, but it also would not surprise me if development needed a few more months to really dial everything in before release. At the end of the day, we're most likely looking at Jedi 2 being a huge holiday release at the end of 2022 or early 2023. Time will tell, but this game is hype. Moving on, we have some great news for PC players of Star Wars Battlefront 2. The 1 HP glitch that has been plaguing the servers is finally getting looked at and a fix is on the way. And yes, I know it started as a hack. I had some comments in my last video getting smart about it, but the hack didn't intend to affect literally the entire game. So yeah, it's kind of glitched. The legends over at DICE are looking into it. Total FPS, who used to be a developer for Battlefront 2, now working as community manager on Battlefield, gave us a definitive response regarding the issue. He says, with folks only just returning to the office this past week, progress has understandably and unfortunately been slow through the holidays. However, progress was made towards getting a fix in place, it will be fixed, and will keep you all updated when they can do so. While it's not news of a fix right now, it's nice to hear that at the very least they are paying attention to Battlefront again. I know I'm not the only one who misses the regular updates and the overall feeling of community that we had in this game. The future is bright for Star Wars games in general though, with LEGO Star Wars, Jedi 2, Star Wars Hunters, the KOTOR remake, which is also rumored to be dropping in 2023 by the way, we have a lot to look forward to. The only thing missing is an online multiplayer game, or another shooter like Battlefront to really round off that already pretty impressive list of upcoming games. 
Hunters will kind of fill that role, but right now that game doesn't seem to have much community support. So with any luck, Jedi 2, or maybe even Lego Star Wars, might have some level of multiplayer compatibility. At least that's my hope anyway. But with that, that is all the Star Wars gaming news we have today. Let me know in the comments which of the upcoming titles you're most looking forward to. And once again, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and get notified. Big thanks for stopping by today's video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!